Yo, what's up? This is Rocklin. Today on Passport Kings, we're going over the top 10 Caribbean countries with the most beautiful women. Engage. I'm Rocklin. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. One excellent thing I learned about the Caribbean is it's easily reachable by a cruise ship. There's pretty much a cruise ship traveling to these countries every week. Check out the Passport Kings cruise page to take one of these cruises for more than just seeing beautiful women, but for beautiful environments, excursions, and adventures. I look forward to reading your comments and your very own list. Leave it below. If there's one thing I learned by traveling, it's that people are different. I understand people have different opinions, and it's okay. No need to argue, so put your pitchforks away. Being sun-kissed by the excellent weather and diverse history has created some of the most beautiful women on earth. But living off tourism is not that appealing to a lot of the people in these countries. So they have fleed their homes for better opportunities, but many of the black women we have accepted as African American are actually from many of these countries. And you may even be surprised to find out about some of these people's origins. Just remember, this is just a beauty contest and not necessarily about attitudes or opinions, even though nice bodies and shapes will help. Alright, so watch this commercial about the benefits of travel hacking, and I'll be back in one second. Have you gotten into travel hacking? If not, you certainly should. Don't pay full prices for flights when other people are not. You may think it's a badge of honor to stay loyal to one company, but if they're charging their newer customers a lot less than they're charging you, you're the only loyal one. Why put extra money in a fat cat's pocket? You can save that money for your loved one. So check out the travel hacking site that I left in the description below. People are literally saving thousands of dollars on flights abroad. <laughs> Number 10, Cuba. Welcome to Cuba. People from the States have been all but off limits to this Caribbean wonderland for decades. Let's thank former President Obama for lifting those awful limitations and letting us travel directly to Cuba once again. Thank God he did because now we see the beautiful cities and women who seem to have been gotten stuck in the late 50s. But these women are pretty much superstars in the rarity department. Before they were cut off from the states, a lot of the people who were sent there to whiten up the culture had left thanks to their dislike of Castro. The women who were left are amazing to meet, beautiful to look at, and fun to be around. They speak Spanish, Creole, and another of native language. And while you're there, go to Havana and check out the awesome doctors you may need now that Obamacare was axed. Number 9, St. Martin. Don't forget about the second A when spelling St. Martin. The culture is a blend of African, French, British, and Dutch heritage. I'll make it simple and say a mix of Africans and Europeans. This island is two countries mixed into one. The food on St. Martin is a collaboration of tastes from Europe, the Caribbean, and Africa, and showcases a diversity of the island's people. And as diverse as the food is, the women are even more diverse. They took the best parts of both worlds and combined them into sheer beauty. Number eight, Guadalupe. Guadalupe has less than a quarter of a million people who are made up of African, French, European, and East Indian descendants. These women are raised by mostly fishermen, so they love to be on the high seas and they would love to cook an excellent meal for the right dude. Number seven, the Bahamas. Within this country, a distinction is made between the capital of Nassau on New Providence Island and the out islands of the archipelago. Foreign born women from the United Kingdom, the United States, Haiti, Canada, and other countries are referred to by their original nationalities regardless of citizenship or assimilation. So don't go jumping to conclusions thinking these girls are so exotic. They may actually be from your part of town. Number six, the Cayman Islands. The women of the Cayman Islands have been influenced by Afro-Caribbeans of Jamaica, colonists of Great Britain, and more recent immigrants from the United States. Approximately 113 nationalities make up the women of these three islands that make up this country. So just like the islands mentioned before, there's a lot of different cultures mixed into one, and it's beautiful. Before I get to the top five, here are my honorable mentions. Anguilla, Grenada, Haiti, Aruba, and Puerto Rico. I guess they would be considered my choices of 10 through 15. Number five, the US Virgin Islands. 
the US Virgin Islands is a paradise with so much more to offer than the traditional beach vacation. Visitors wishing to immerse themselves in a profound cultural experience can enjoy historical tours, culinary encounters, artisan fairs, parades, storytelling, and other special presentations. The women in the U.S. Virgin Islands are largely made up of Caribbean people whose ancestors were African and Europeans. You will find women from all across the Caribbean living in the Virgin Islands, as well as Americans from the mainland, Europeans, and Hispanics. So check them out and their culture. Number four, Turks and Caicos. While there are some 40 plus Ks that make up the Turks and Caicos Islands, only eight of them are inhabited by people. The Turks and Caicos native women are called Belongers, or Turks and Caicos Islanders, and are usually descendants from Africa. The local population mixes a large expatriate community of British, American, French, Canadians, Haitians, Dominicans, and Scandinavians, giving the island an international influence and unique culture. The women here are both expats and belongers. They are relaxed and friendly and generally operate on island time, resulting in a low-key, slow-paced environment. Number three, Dominican Republic. The family forms the basis of stability. The individual derives a social network and assistance in time of need from the extended family, which generally encompasses three generations. When possible, the extended family lives together or within the same vicinity. Loyalty to the family comes before any other social relationship, even business. Nepotism is considered a good thing since it implies employing people one knows and trusts, which is of primary importance. The oldest male in the extended family makes decisions affecting the balance of the family. Dominicans pride themselves on their hospitality. When someone visits, Dominicans go out of their way to make guests feel welcome and comfortable. House guests are treated royally and Dominicans attempt to cater to their every desire. Not to mention they're beautiful. Number two, Jamaica. The Jamaican family includes a close-knit web of aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents. Families are close and provide emotional and economic support to its members. The families is the most important group a person belongs to, and as such, it is the group with whom a Jamaican woman spends most of her time developing and maintaining cordial relationships. Jamaican women have a healthy distrust of those in authority and prefer to put their faith in those they know well, such as their extended family and close friends who are treated as if they were family. Being recommended by a friend or relative is the absolute best way to get one of these women interested in you. Have a person who knows the woman of interest and tell them to say good things about you. Number one, Trinidad and Tobago. Music and festivals are the most dominant means of cultural expression here by these women, but arts are also important to their culture. The Trinidad Carnival is the most well-known cultural festival, and Calypso and Steel Band music are both internationally popular. One of the most unique aspects of the island of Trinidad and Tobago is their unusual ethnic breakdown. While most Caribbean islands are populated in large majority by the descendants of African slaves, Trinidad and Tobago are home of many immigrants from the East Indies who came to the islands as indigenous indentured servants after slavery was abolished in the 1800s. This gave the Trinidad and Tobago women a distinctive culture unlike any other islands as these cultures blended. Speaking of Trinidad, we're going on a cruise in three months to Trinidad. If you join us, we're all going to use lines on beautiful women and then compare notes when we get back to the ship. And you are invited. Another thing, before anyone screams there's not enough light skin or dark skin girls in the pictures of this video, my short answer is you are actually a hypocrite. No girl is better or worse than the other because of skin color. People said they were running to the defense of dark skin chicks in my last video, or my favorite complaint about my mother being darker than the girls on my video. The truth is, my mother is lighter than almost all the women I ever put on a video. Second, would you tell a light skinned little girl that she is not cute because she's not as dark as your dark skin girl? Would you say it to her face because she's too light? And if so, so, what does that make you? They had no choice in deciding which hue their skin color would be. Third, who cares? And fourth, this is a video about countries to visit to see beautiful women. This video is not titled, here are pictures of the most beautiful women in the Caribbean. And if they are lighter than what you would have liked, it's okay. Opposites attract, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And it has nothing to do with colonialism or self-hatred. Lastly, and most importantly, and I've been wanting to say this for years, brown skin is not a hue that belongs on a scale from dark to light. So unless other options in your argument includes black skin, red skin, or blue skin, saying someone is brown skin makes no sense. It's either dark or light or a color. So take my word for it, the Caribbean is filled with beautiful chicks. 
But I know that's not the only reason why people should travel is always running around chasing chicks, but it's always a good icing to have on the top of the cake. So always explore all the beautiful Caribbean islands like a king of passport king. like this episode great remember to leave comments below subscribe and like and share it with your social media follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and if you want to make money online or just book a trip go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there